everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Mandy. I have a collective haul of a few pieces I bought over the past couple of weeks-ish. And I'm going on holidays next week, hopefully. And I need to get a few more pieces. I haven't bought enough. I keep putting stuff back because I don't need them. And then I realise I do need them. And if I'm squinting, it's because, as usual, the light is driving me mad. In this country, it's either lashing rain and too dark or the sun is beaming in, which is where it is now. That's why I'm kind of sitting a bit funny. So before I start waffling on about weather as usual, um, this is a few pieces of collective haul, as I said, from Zara and some shoes and clothes and a mixture of everything like I normally do. So I'm going to start Let's with go. shoes because I don't have enough. And then I have some more down there. And then I have some more up there, but I still don't have enough. We never have enough. And I'm going to start off with a pair I bought a couple of months back when I was cleaning all this stuff out a few weeks ago. I found these and um, they are, I'm in a funny angle, I have to bend down and get stuff. These are um, the Carvela ones by Kurt Geiger. And they are just the prettiest shoes in the world. I know I say that about every shoes I bought, but I bought these in Brown Thomas a couple of months ago. When I went shopping with a friend of mine and isn't it terrible they went in a box up there and I had to clean out and move things around because boot season is kind of a little bit over so I put my boots up there and I put my shoes down here and I found these at the back still in the box it's pretty bad isn't it but oh my god they're gorgeous so these are coming on holidays because I forgot about them they've a little zip to the front um, and just really really high they're quite loose around the ankle but i've tried them on with white skinnies and they are just lovely and they're so pretty and they were in the sale as well i think they were 200 and something down to i think less than 100 but they're just gorgeous aren't they so that's my first pair of shoes and believe it or not they're the only heels i bought they're nice the way that you can't probably see it but it kind of comes up and it, it starts off in one color like a silver finishes in a muffler now i'm like but they're just so I love those. And then, you've probably seen these on Instagram as well. Anytime I buy anything, I put it on Instagram, as we do. And slides are all in at the minute. And these are just the prettiest ones, aren't they? Here we go again, the pretty shoes. Look at those. And if you see up close, look, they have a sparkle. And there's like a blue and a gold and a pink in every colour. And they look, they're only 19 99 in Zara. I went in today to actually see if they have any more. Because um, I was going to get a pair for somebody and they didn't, so... I think they might get them back in again. They'd have to, because the slides are really, really in it, but they are so comfy, so soft, and would go with so much. So that's my second pair. I'm in love with everything in Zara at the minute. I have to stop going in. I seriously have to, because I just pick stuff up and go, nope, and I put it back in. No, nope, I'm not going in tomorrow. I'm not going in. No, no. And then these are, you see these probably on my Instagram as well. These are a pair of slippers or mules, and they are obviously, uh, a dupe of the Gucci Princetown loafers, or the Gu Gucci Princetown slippers, but obviously they're not. These are H&M. They are probably the comfiest pair of shoes I have put on in a long time. I got them at 39, and I am a 39, and they fit perfect. Sometimes I buy 40 if I want a little bit of room in shoes, but these actually fit me, and these were only like 15 euro, like seriously. Where? Now, when I mean, they're on, they're really, really cute. They probably don't look that great in the, pic in the video, but when they're on, they are fab. They're my three little pairs of shoes I bought for now. Okay, the next few things I got was actually stuff I was, I bought when I was in London a couple of weeks ago. And one of them is, we don't have a Zara home. Um, and I wish we did. Something that I would be seriously broke if we didn't, if we had a Zara home. Because this is my favourite candle. It's the dark amber, and if you know the Zara home, they're all over Europe, Europe except for Ireland, as usual. And this is my favourite candle. Um, it's dark amber. And it is just, I just hit myself in the face with it, isn't that lovely? Oh, it's just gorgeous. It's very, if you know me, it's very musky and it's real amber and sandalwoods. Nothing sweet, nothing fresh, nothing fruity. And I have loads of these little containers because every time I'm near a Zara home, I buy a couple of these and they're just lovely. So that's my favourite candle from Zara. And they do the diffusers and they do little smaller candles and room sprays and everything. That's the dark amber. If you like anything musky that's really really nice okay the next few pieces i bought from kaiko because i really have nothing from kaiko 
as I lie. I have a whole box of stuff that I haven't even opened, but you can't really walk past it, she can't, you just no. And I got a mascara. This is the Unmeasurable Lengths Mascara in Black. I haven't tried this. I did try another one before, um, and it was gold. So when I went in, they did a lot of new stuff. Uh, and I will give a review on this perhaps when I try it on, on Instagram, but this is the package and it's gorgeous. And if it's as good as their other ones, I would be very pleased. And then I went in to get their lip glosses because I have, I use the same ones all the time, 113, 103, blah, 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 blah. And when I went in, they don't do them like they used to, but this is 04 Hydro Lip Gloss. The packaging and all is different. I was a little bit disappointed to say the least, but this looks really nice. Um, just a slight shimmer to it, as I say. You can see there's a little bit of glitter in it. And let me see, but I haven't even tried this yet. It's very, very, I recommend that's on. It's just going to give a sheen. I don't think there's any color, but that suits me. Hey, so that's number four, um, Hydro Lip Gloss. And then I picked up two gorgeous nail varnishes because we never have enough nail varnishes, even though I have a drawer full. We still have to get some more. This is Glitter Metal Nail Lacquer, but that is, I don't know what it is about anything that kind of has 3D colors in it. Can you see? It's like gold and then it's pink and then it's gold again. And then it's just, I think I have some of that color. Sure. And that's in 001 and the other one is Power Pro and this is unreadable on the back of it but it's a very very pale colour, you can't even see that in the light. Um, it's really really, it's like an iridescent kind of a pearl and it was very good, that's all I bought. I only bought four things at Kaiko in that little bag. That's normally full so I was very disciplined in Kaiko. And then the next thing I bought was one of my favourite fragrances. And if you know me, you know I'm a fragrance aholic and I keep buying perfumes over and over again, especially ones that I love and I will rebuy and rebuy. And this one I bought a while back, when I say a while back, a couple of years ago, and it's Jo Malone, Lime, Basil and Mandarin. And we went in and my friend was actually with me and I think she sprayed it and it just brought back so many memories when she sprayed it, because I haven't bought it in years and I was just like, I have to get it. And the small one, I think that's a 30 mil, isn't it? Yeah. I think that was 55 pound, which for that size, I suppose is quite expensive, but the smell, I can just get lime. The lime and the mandarin is probably just so strong, but it is so fresh and so uplifting. And I'm going to treat myself to a candle. Um, maybe when I'm going through the duty free in the airport next week, because it is just, that's my favorite scent in John Malone. Um, forever and ever so that's in my bag at the minute I just love it and one more thing I picked up I was in Harrods and there is the gift department in Harrods I don't know why I'm looking up the ceiling because it's not up there but upstairs in Harrods there's this like big souvenir shop and I am in heaven when I'm there I'm sure my friend that was with me was like what is she doing but I would go around it for hours just looking at all the little bits and pieces and this is one thing I picked up I have cups and I have mugs and I have cup holders and diaries and you name it, when I've been there, I picked them up. Because that's what we do. And I picked up this um, iPhone 6 case, isn't it just the cutest? Now I have um, the travel mug to match that as well. But like, I think that was like £15 or £18 or something like that. But it's just the cutest thing ever, isn't it? So, yeah. Love it. Harrods is just the best place, isn't it? I can't afford probably anything in it, but I would just wander around and look at the beauty in it for, for hours on end, so. That's my few little bits. So next, Eber has decided to start using a chainsaw or something. Can you hear it? I apologize if you can hear that drilling thing noise in the background, right? So the next ones I have are a few pieces of clothes. I actually thought I'd bought more, but I didn't. And they are from a couple of different places, but this one I'm just in love with. This is actually from, sorry, my hay fever is a bit, that's why I'm always at my nose. This is from Bershka. Now I know I'm probably a little bit old for Bershka, it's a touchy subject because a lot of their stuff is for the younger generation but sometimes you get nice things in it and their jeans actually fit me quite well and this is a bodysuit I got I think that's what you call them isn't it but look at it I don't know if you can see it with the light but oh my god isn't it just gorgeous look at the fringes I had it on with black high-waisted kind of shiny jeans and it's just perfect for the summer isn't it and that I think was less than 20 euro and again, Bershka is owned by Zara, so that's why I kind of like a lot of this stuff. 
um, in there and Stradivarius is the same here in Europe so I just, oh, it's just lovely isn't it? She only didn't have it in another colour. I probably would have bought a few more of them but you'll probably see that in holiday picks next week. Love it. Look, look, look. Easily used. So my one. next three pieces, well that's all I have is another three pieces. I've just realised I have a theme going on. For some reason I just bought florals. I don't know why. I don't normally buy floral things but as I took them out I was like oh they all kind of look the same. Um, and this is you either love or you hate Primark and I don't buy an awful lot of clothes in Primark. I buy gym wear and that kind of thing but when I see something really different I do pick it up and this jacket was just, there was two of these left when I went in a couple of weeks back and it was only 23 euro. That's a size 6 but it fits perfect and it's a lovely length. It's kind of awkward to show in video but I'm sure you'll see it in some of my holiday picks. I'd wear that just maybe with white jeans. It's just, the print in it is gorgeous. I actually think it looks like um, Zara. Uh, but for that price, like seriously, 23 euro, where would you get something like that for 23 euro? There was trousers to match, but I think the trousers and the jacket would be a little bit too much. So I thought the jacket was really nice. So that's number one in my floral collection. And then the next one I got was just a plain little tee. And again, this was Zara. See what I mean about the floral theme going on? I don't know what I was thinking. I'm just walking into these shops and going, oh, colours, summer, trying to lift my spirits. And again, this was Zara, like six euro, come on. Like that is just, you could you can't really dress it up because it's a plain t-shirt, but it would be really nice. Again, I have this thing about white jeans, don't I? Or pale blue. I bought pale blue high-waisted uh, as well a couple of weeks ago. I don't know where they are. So I'm not even gonna try and look for them. So something like that would be nice. And then last but not least, You'll see where I'm going with this floral theme. I don't know what's going on with me. And again, this was Zara. 12 99 like, for nothing. And it's quite long. Maybe just to the middle of your leg, the bottom of your leg, like your shin. And it's just a simple floral kind of summer dress. Oh, the design on it is lovely, isn't it? It's just, and if anything kind of went, if that went funny in the washing net for 12 99 would you really care? I probably wouldn't even bring it home from holidays. I like the straps on it as well. So yeah, I'm sure I'll have, I've just hit myself in the face with a hanger, I'm attractive. I'm sure I'll have more pieces. I'm just gonna keep walking by shops because I'm not buying, that doesn't look like a lot, but in the space of a few days and whatever, I just have to stop. Going into Zara, Zara is the worst place to, I actually work in retail, make a long story short, and I work in a center where there's loads of shops and Zara is like there to me and all the other shops and I have to stop going in, so. Um, I just maybe need one or two swimsuits. So um, if anyone has any ideas about to get some nice swimsuits, I don't really want bikinis. I'm looking for some nice swimsuits um, because at my age, I don't, no one needs to see everything else. So I think a swimsuit would be nice. So if anyone has any recommendations for swimsuits, I would be delighted. And that's it. That's my little, little, little haul. And thanks so much guys for watching. And thank you so much to all my new subscribers. I'm, in the big guns, I'm not like loads, but I'm like 540, I think, at the minute. But my, my channel has had like over 104,000 views or something, which is crazy. I remember when I had 100 views on my channel and I just thought I was, oh my God, 100 people have looked at my videos, it was the best. But to think that 104,000 people have now looked is just insane and I'm so appreciative of it. And I get great ideas from watching everyone else's videos. And I love doing tag videos and I've made so many friends on YouTube from doing all this. So thank you so much. I really, really appreciate everyone. And stay tuned because I will have, I'll do a vlog when I'm away. I probably won't get another video done till I'm away in Corfu, but I will certainly be vlogging and I'll do a holiday video like I always do. So again, guys, thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram. Again, I'm the same, or Mandy J, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.